most common complaint I hear from Christian moms is how to stay motivated to work out. Hi, Dawn here, and welcome to my channel, New Day Dawning. The purpose of this channel is to empower Christian women to build stronger minds and bodies. This channel will have content about workouts, nutrition tips, and mindset. So go ahead and subscribe below so you can obtain all this great information. So how do you feel? Do you feel tired? drained, just pulled in so many directions, homeschooling kids while tending to babies, running after toddlers, supporting your husband. It all could be exhausting. We have exercise on our list, but it's really easy to drop off when we're trying to do all these other things that we have that are so important to us. And I understand the challenge. At the age of 42, I had my fourth baby and ended up with gestational diabetes. I had gained over 70 pounds. Even after I had my baby, I still kept the weight on. I was so sluggish and drained trying to maintain it all. And I remember one evening I was eating Christmas cookies with the kids. I lied on the couch and I couldn't even peel myself off. I was just so exhausted and I knew something had to change. So all that knowledge I had gained through the years, I'm gonna share with you. So how to stay motivated to work out? Here's the secret, are you ready? It's your why. It's just that three letter word why. Why is your purpose? And let me give you an illustration and I'm gonna make it a real exaggerated illustration so you really get the idea of this. So say there's two skyscrapers and there's just a two by four going from one skyscraper to the other. Someone says, hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you walk across that two by four. And you're thinking, hey, no way. Even if they up the ante and say, I'll give you $50,000, you're probably still thinking, hey, I'm not going to risk my life for that. But what if it was a different situation? Yes, there's the two skyscrapers, the two by four board. But on the other side of the building is your children. And that building is starting to burn. And the only way to get across is on that two by four. Would you do it then? Of course you would. That's your why. Not only would you walk across that board, I bet you'd be running across that board. So do you see how just having a big purpose can help you get through doing a task, even if it's really difficult? So that's the importance of your why. As mothers, we tend to be self-sacrificing. We put ourselves last, and then we tend to the children, maintain the house, support our husbands. It made me think of this Facebook post that I saw this week. It was an organizer being promoted. And on the organizer, it had a list of three priorities. And as a sample, they had filled it in. And I was just curious to see what that was. The first priority was work. And then their second priority was their mother's birthday. And the third priority was health. And I was just thinking, what a huge mistake. Because without your health, you have nothing. You cannot work. You can't celebrate your mom or organize her birthday. So we really, our society just has a way of ranking that really low, but without it, we can't accomplish, we can't do anything. So we need to put that back on the list. So now let's work on your why and the benefits of exercise to help you with that. Wouldn't you like to have more energy to get you through that busy day? Of course you would. By exercising, you're actually bringing oxygen to that circulatory system and that circulatory system's working through your body to nourish those tissues. So yes, you are going to have more energy. Now you may say, well, I like to have a cup of coffee in the morning and that helps me. Well, that's fine, but drinking coffee throughout the day is not gonna help. It actually drains the adrenals and it'll cause you to be more sluggish. So exercise is the key for having more energy. Aging. How do you want to age? You may hear this term being thrown around, anti-aging. And of course, there's no such thing. We are gonna age. However, you do have a choice. How do you wanna age? So one of the major things that cause aging is damage to our cells. Well, do you know with exercise and by oxygenating our cells, it's actually gonna create a more youthful you. It's gonna help to resist those signs and damage that comes with aging. Did you know that most diseases, the cause of it is the lack of oxygen to the cells? And there's a term for that called hypoxia. And unfortunately, hypoxia leads to disease and then eventually death. So one thing that we can do to stay stronger and healthier and to withstand such 
problems and diseases is to exercise to keep our cells oxygenated. And, you know, think about aging in itself. You may look at a 35 year old woman and you thought she was 50. Or you may look at a 50 year old woman and think, oh, I thought she was 35. Well, why is that? It has to do with the amount of cellular damage. Most people think it's a birthday that's aging. I'll tell you, your health has a lot more to do with aging than just your birthday. And exercise will help to push that back and to keep you younger. We live in the physical universe, meaning that also the laws of physics apply to us. For example, gravity and etc. Well, the second law of thermodynamics is entropy. Entropy means to decay, to move towards chaos, disorder. If we think about that word and we apply it to a car saying just sitting in the driveway, the car will start to rust, break down, decay. Apply that word maybe to even a garden that's unattended and the weeds start to come and overtake that garden. What if we apply the word entropy to the human body? Well, our muscles start to atrophy and shrink. Our joints start to degenerate. Our organ functions stop working properly. So how can we overcome all of that? And we can do that through exercise. So we have trillions of cells in our body and everything needs to remain in order for us to stay healthy. And when things start getting out of order and those cells start getting out of order, then we start having breakdown and our, we don't function properly, our cells and our organs. Actually, I was just thinking of my dad. It makes me think of my dad. I was talking to my mother the other day, and my father's 83 years old, and unfortunately has Parkinson's, and that's a degenerative neurological disorder, and it just causes a misfiring. It could be slurred speech, tremor in the hands, um, you know, the walk can be off. And fortunately, my dad's case, his is very mild, and he just has a little tremor in his hands, and he did go to the neurologist. And if you think about the training for a neurologist, my goodness, I mean, it's 12 years of school, these internships, anatomy, advanced physics, and then after even they graduate, you know, just all the experience and years of having patients and dealing with their issues. So he goes in for his appointment, and here is the big medical prescription, the advice she gives to him, what she's saying with all her knowledge, all her schooling, all her experience, this was her prescription to my dad. You need to move. You need to exercise. So it just goes to show you how important it is and even how to battle diseases. But preventing is definitely more of the key. So how do you want to age? Do you want to be running with your grandchildren? Do you want to be helping your daughter or your son take care of the grandkids or meeting the great grandkids? Or do you want to be in a position where you can't even remember your grandchild's name, but you need your walker that's in the corner of the room? You know, how you're going to age, a lot of it has to do with your choices, and exercise really will help you to age well. Wouldn't you like to feel more happy? Feel like you have more joy in your life? Do you know, according to mentalhealth.gov, over 20 million people in the United States suffer from depression? How dreadful. And I'll tell you, one of the most powerful things that you can do to overcome depression is to exercise. Exercise releases endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, all those good feeling chemicals. And not just that, actually there was a study done in Harvard Medical back in 2013 that showed that it supported new cell growth. So you actually are creating new wiring to make you feel good, to make you feel happy. So exercise is so important, even just for our happiness. And think of your goals, think of your why. What kind of memories do you want to have with your children as they get older? Do you want them to think of their mom that was happy and loving? Or do you want to think about their mom as, you know, she struggled to get through the day. She could barely get out of bed. She was always kind of cranky. You know, think about those things. Think about your why for that. And exercise will really help keep you happy and create those memories with your kids. So I understand as moms, many of you may have time issues. Well, what about just 10 minutes a day? And you may think that may be really hard to fit in. But then let me ask you this. Do you have time to be sick? Do you have time for disease? Because sickness and disease doesn't wait to come to you at a convenient time. It comes in the midst of your life. And I'm sure maybe you may know family or relatives that you were just shocked that they were stricken with cancer or some kind of illness. 
So to fight back on that, you really need to exercise. So take control, you know, do your exercise, and then you don't have to have your life interrupted and upset from those things. Another thing too is that we tend to put a lot of focus on maintaining our homes. You know, we want to have a nice place for our children, a place to, that's a sanctuary for us. And that's great. But what if your home were to burn down? Could you replace it? Yeah, you could replace your home. Now let me ask you this, what about your body? What if you were really sick? What if, you know, you, your body just couldn't fight anymore and it died? Could you just replace and put your spirit somewhere else? No, our flesh, our body is the only place our spirit has to dwell. It's the only home we really have, that's it. So we really need to take care of it and exercise. It's not just an option, it's an essential. You know, you think of life about 100 years ago and women would have to go to the stream and use the washboard to clean the clothes and they'd be physically weeding the garden, picking their fruit or vegetables. And you know, now we just have all these great modern advances of the dishwasher, washing machine, the vacuum, the refrigerator. I mean, I'm thankful for all of it. However, you know, our bodies are still the same. It's a complex machinery. And of course, it's animated by the breath of life through God. And this complex machine has its own hydraulic system, levers, you know, it's able to stay hydrated through a circulatory system. We need to keep it moving. That's what it was actually designed to do. So in order to stay healthy, we need to keep the, our body moving. So let's focus on your why. There are four levels to the why, and the reason for that is that each one has a greater influence over our behavior. So that way, when we do come through those obstacles and barriers during the day, we can overcome them having a higher purpose. So the, I put it in order from God, husband, children, and self. And the reason why I put self last is because we're more compelled to do for others than ourselves. So I actually went ahead and I designed a special PDF just for you. All you have to do is fill out the link below and you can print this out. You can leave it on your fridge, you can put it in your bedroom mirror, leave it through your house. And that way you can be reminded every day of your why, your purpose and how important it is to work out for your health. Some language also you wanna be careful of because you wanna make sure it's language that's powerful for you. So for example, in the part of children, I may put, I want to be a leader of health to my children. So what words that are compelling to you, make sure you use them because it's going to be more powerful as you read them day to day. Well, look, click on the link below too. I also have an exercise for you to follow. I wanted to give you all the tools that you needed really to be successful. So you have the PDF and then an exercise to follow. Only 10 minutes. So if you just can include that 10 minutes a day, and it's great because it'll be a little cardio and also resistance training. And I'll go into those topics more later on and the importance of them. But I'm rooting for you. Go ahead and print it out below and get started and the best health to you. Mm -hmm.